Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Wednesday, May 17th, 2023. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, presented by Annapolis Subaru and the SPCA of Anne Arundel County. Yesterday turned out to be a boat day for me. I started out the morning talking about boats with PYY Marine up in the Dina, and I ended up on a boat with a looper. And if you don't know what a looper is, you're going to have to wait and find out. Pretty cool story. All in all, a good day. But we do have some news, so let's get into it, shall we? Nothing yet from the Annapolis Police Department, but from witnesses, there was an armed carjacking at the giant grocery store on Bay Ridge Road yesterday morning at about 9 a.m. According to an employee, a woman was waiting in her Porsche for her groceries to be loaded into the car when a black man went to the driver's side, put a gun to her head, and told her to get out. She did. He got in and sped off. And after a pursuit by the police, the car did crash at Chinkapin Round Road and Forest Drive at the terminus right there at Route 665. That is the reason for that huge backup we had yesterday morning. The suspect was injured, treated, and arrested. We do also believe there was at least one other suspect involved, but we don't know what happened there. Hopefully, the Annapolis police will be sending something out a little bit later on today, and as soon as they do, we will post an update on ionannapolis.net. But the Annapolis police do have their hands full. Overnight, between May 14th and 15th, 17 cars were broken into across the city, and some had property stolen from them. Let me repeat that again, 17 cars in one evening. The police have said that none of the vehicles showed signs of forced entry, so that means that they were either unlocked or the windows were down. Don't do that. There are bad guys out there just looking for an opportunity. Lock the cars up and keep your valuables out of sight or, better yet, out of the car. This latest rash happened in the parole area and also the Hunt Meadow community. Luke Parker at the Capitol has been doing an outstanding job following the fraud trial of local restaurateur Harvey Blonder. The gist of it is that he brought on partners and finagled the finances so that they were repaid their initial investment, but none of the profits. A jury did agree yesterday and returned a verdict and ordered him to pay more than $9 million in damages. You do want to check out the stories in the Capitol for all the details. As I said, Luke did a great job on that. Blonder is the owner of several area restaurants. This suit did involve Yellowfin, but he also owns Buddy's Crabs and Ribs, Crab Shack in Crofton, Fat Boy's Crab Shack, Fat Boy's Crab House, and several others. (music) County Executive Stuart Pittman announced that birds are now allowed to go to the Annapolis Town Center and the mall. These are not the flying type. These are the rolling type. These are the e-bikes and the scooters that were actually the purvey of Annapolis City. As the county kicks off Bike to Work Week, Pittman said that he is bringing the scooters and e-bikes to more areas of the county, and he's going to be starting with the areas just outside of the city. So if you are scootering or driving, please be very careful. And this is hysterical. To celebrate the sale of the Washington Commanders and a fan base absolutely thrilled to be rid of Dan Snyder, The Bowie Bay Sox are having a promotion on Thursday. To celebrate the change in ownership, fans with the first or last names of Josh or Harris will get in for free. Anyone wearing a Magic Johnson jersey, you're in for free too. And if you'd like box seats, those are the ones closest to the field, just wear some of the Washington gear. Could be Redskins, the WFT, or Commanders. And then your tickets are only $10 a piece. And to Dan Snyder, bye Felicia. All right, that is a wrap on the news. Up this Saturday on the Local Business Spotlight, we have details and design from Eastport. And then the following weekend, just in time for Memorial Day, it's going to be the Annapolis Party Boat. All right, let's put this puppy to bed with a quick thank you to you and also to our sponsors for the Daily News Brief. Annapolis Subaru, the SPCA of Anne Arundel County, Solar Energy Services, Hospice of the Chesapeake, and the Maryland Higher Education Commission. So now you just need to hang tight because George Young from D.C. MDVA Weather is standing by with the only locally forecast weather report you will find. And Bridget, also known as Beaver Buzz, is here with all of your live music info in Annapolis After Dark. And for those of you that are wondering or perhaps disappointed where my snark is this week, 
I'm all out. Give me some time. I promise I'll come up with something soon. Anyhow, all that coming up in just a bit, so hang tight. Did you get close to completing your college degree but dropped out during the COVID pandemic? Well, as a near completer, you may be eligible to receive money from the Maryland Higher Education Commission to finish your degree. Again, if you started your degree but for whatever reason never finished it, the Maryland Higher Education Commission has money to help you return to college and finish what you started. Go to mhec.maryland.gov and click on the Near Completer Grant to learn more. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DCMDVA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Wednesday, May 16th. Temps were a bit warmer yesterday than expected, but the Annapolis region will get a few cool days today through the end of the week before a fairly nice weekend on the whole. Look for sunshine today with slightly breezy winds with highs in the low to mid 70s ahead of more sun tomorrow and Friday with highs upper 60s to lower 70s for most, though it will feel warmer with the strong May sun overhead. With the weekend then bringing a mixture of sun and clouds with a chance for a few rain showers with highs in the mid-70s Saturday and upper 70s to maybe lower 80s on Sunday. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DC MDVA Weather. Make it a great day out there today. Stay healthy and be safe. And don't forget, follow DC MDVA Weather on Facebook and Twitter for regular updates each day, along with the website at dcmdvaweather.info so you can always stay weather informed. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Have you been looking for ways to save money recently? Maybe you should consider solar energy for your home. Or are you waiting for the technology to get cheaper? If so, how long are you going to wait? Today's solar costs less than 20% of what it cost 10 years ago. But while solar prices have declined every year, so have the financial incentives. Bottom line, if you wait for cheaper solar, you're also waiting for lower incentives. Take my home, for example. My solar system was installed in 20 2010, and it's been paid off for almost five years, and I no longer have to buy any electricity for another 15 to 20 years. If I waited for cheaper solar, I'd still be paying an electric bill. At Solar Energy Services, we have thousands of satisfied customers who are sure glad they didn't wait. So what are you waiting for? Sunshine's a wasted. Call us today for a free solar design at 410-923-6090 or on the web at solarsaves.net. Sunshine, sunshine. Nothing else can make me feel so fine. The music scene in Anne Arundel County is popping, and sometimes it's hard to sort through it all. From blues to pop, from funk to ska, Beeper Buzz has it all covered for you in this week's Annapolis After Dark. Good morning, Annapolis. Beeper Buzz here with your Annapolis After Dark weekend music highlights for Wednesday, May 17th through Sunday, May 21st. Go to the socials for Annapolis Streaming and Beeper Buzz and also both websites for the full schedule. We update the event and all websites with changes and cancellations so you know before you go. AnnapolisStreaming.com and BeeperBuzz.com Live music for today, Wednesday. One of my favorites, Sean Owen will be at Beacon, which used to be Sam's on the Waterfront, another one of my favorite spots. Also tonight, the Ryan Keith Band, full band, will be at EDC in the MRE. You must be a member of the Eastport Democratic Club or a friend of a member to attend. Michael Waskey is back at Middleton Tavern. Across the street, Sean Peelin will be at Annapolis Market House. JC from J. Paris will be solo at Twain's Tavern in Severna Park in Pasadena. And Open Mic Night, hosted by George Evans, returns to Saverno Park Tap House. Thursday, get to the point for Brian Ewald. Charles Cavusi and Jessica Dean will be at Saverno Park Tap House. Ryan Keith Duo, which is Ryan Keith and Tom Coster, will be at River Bay Roadhouse in the Cape. Tim and Katie are back at O'Laughlin's in Arnold. And just across the patio, Sean Peelin will be at Senior Chili in Arnold. In Annapolis, the Local Experience Concert Series will begin this Thursday at Live Arts Maryland in their Westfield Annapolis Mall location. Purchase tickets on the Maryland Live Arts website. 
Also on Thursday, Dana B. will be at Annapolis Market House and end the night with Troll Tribe at Dark Horse. Weekend music, Friday, start with happy hour at Blackwall Hitch with Dana B., as long as they don't cancel it for a private event, and then stay for Timmy Metz Band. Or happy hour up at Twain's Tavern in Saverta Park, heading out towards the Dina with Lost and Found Trio Band, and then stay for late night music by one of my favorites, the Harbor Boys. This is one to catch because it is their last local show before going on tour with Bally Ho. Enjoy music on the Severn with Dan Haas aboard the Harbor Queen by Watermark Tours. David Sparrow is back at Ramshead Roadhouse in Crownsville. Gardner Bakke duo will be at the Green Turtle and Gambrels, and if you don't know, this dynamic duo is from the Grilled Lincolns. Mosaic will be at River Bay Roadhouse in the Cape. Kevin Pollock, the one man playing a ton of instruments, is back at Waterman's Tavern in Edgewater. And also in Edgewater, Scribe will be at the Old Stein Inn. In Annapolis, Mac Heat will be at Middleton Tavern downstairs with Donald Wolcott upstairs in the piano bar. Up in the Dina, Friday Night's Live return to the Speakeasy at Second Alarm Brew House. This is a nonprofit dedicated to the awareness and recruitment of volunteer fire services. Friday night, Christian Pruitt of Severn River Band will be there playing acoustic and singing instead of playing drums. Saturday, start with breakfast at Bread and Butter Kitchen in Eastport with music by Michael K. of Pretty Big Deal as long as it doesn't rain. Jim Mateo will be in Market Space in front of Federal House on Saturday afternoon, also weather permitting. PJ and Neil will be up at Poor Dog House in Millersville. Ryan Keith and Shane Tripp of Moran Tripp Band Duo will be at Mother's in Arnold Saturday night. And Will Hill Band will be ending the night at Stan and Joe's on West Street. And DJ Draco will be ending the night at O'Brien's. Starting this Sunday, Cape Vibes presented by Broadneck Bluegrass. Sunset Showcase with live music on the main beach at Cape St. Clair. This week, the bands are Cape Tree, Scribe, Tiger Lily, Chris Button, and Dirk and the Truth. And you can see local band One Particular Harbor, which is a Jimmy Buffett band tribute, at Ram's Head on Stage in Annapolis. Sunday in the Eva Cassidy Songbird Lot at Stan and Joe's, the Great Gatsby Spring Fling, which is a Roaring Twenties cocktail party in support of America's heroes through Warrior Events Music. Music by Moonstone, The Befuddlers, Cal Toner, Reuben Dobbs of Swamp Candy, Hurricane Kevin, and Cat 5. And also starting this Sunday, Open Mic Night at Dark Horse, hosted by Ben Heemstraw of Ben. Remember, these are just the highlights. Find the full schedule of music for all of Annapolis and the surrounding areas on the Annapolis Streaming Facebook event and on the websites AnnapolisStreaming.com and BeeperBuzz.com, spelled B-E-E-P-R-B-U-Z-Z. I'll see you out there. The benefits of a good night's sleep are well documented. Sleeping well prevents weight gain, improves concentration and creativity, and boosts the immune system. So, what keeps you up at night? If you run a business, then the security of your computer network may be one of those things. Threats like ransomware and phishing are becoming increasingly sophisticated and pose a real risk to any business. Don't let these cyber threats keep you up at night. At Alpha, they've been helping their customers sleep better for over 30 years by monitoring in real time and hardening network defenses. And for those irritating IT issues that arise every day, Alpha's just a phone call away. Helping your business run smoothly and helping you sleep better knowing Alpha is on guard. Give Alpha a call to see if they can ease your worries and help you get the rest you deserve. Find them at alphagetsit.com. It's another exciting weekend of affordable family fun at Prince George's Stadium with the Bowie Bay Sox. Get the weekend started on the 19th with another glow-in-the-park low stick giveaway. Don't miss out on another spectacular fireworks show on Saturday the 20th. And on Sunday the 21st, it's Park in the Park. With every ticket purchased, your four-legged friend can join for free. Get your tickets now by calling 301-805-6000 or anytime online at baysox.com. The Bowie Bay Sox. Let us be your nine-inning vacation. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. 
And don't forget about our website, IamAnnapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at IamAnnapolis. This daily news brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.